We all know that saying goodbye can be tough. I recently said goodbye to my 18-year-old daughter who was spending a year in Australia, where my wife is from, and I had some of those daddy blues. My wife and I often go through periods of grief and loss when children in foster care leave our homes as well. After all, it's like losing a member of our family, right? We often wonder how the child is doing. We wonder if he's safe and if he's happy and if he's doing well in his new home. Many times, friends and family members ask us as well, how is the child doing? And we have to come up with some type of answer. You know what? The child has some of those feelings as well. He's wondering how you're doing. He's wondering how the members of your family are doing and what you're doing. That's very, very normal. So, it is important as a foster parent that you reach out to the child after he has left. Give him a phone call and ask him how he's doing. Encourage him to share with you what he's been doing lately. Allow him to tell you about his new family, whether it's his biological family members from the past or new family he's living with. But allow him to share everything and anything that's going on in his life and don't be critical of anything that he might say. Encourage your own children to talk to him as well. Write him letters. Remember birthdays and holidays and, and send him gifts. If he lives nearby, go, to, go see him at uh, some school events or some sporting events he might be involved in. If possible, go over and visit him at his new home. Or, if possible, encourage him to come spend some time with you. Ask his new family or ask his biological family members if he can come spend maybe a weekend with you from time to time. After all, they may need a break from him too, right? And you could be the family that could give that family some respite time. Saying goodbye can be heart-wrenching. But when you reach out to the child after he's left and you continue to remain in contact with him, it's going to be easier for everybody involved and it helps in the healing process. For Foster Care 101, I'm Dr. John DeGarmo.